This is our first episode and we've accepted the challenge from Freedom Pizza. They've asked us to bake our pizza. By the way, we've never baked in our life before, so we're doing their very famous Detroit pizza. And the idea is that we make it and then they, they will send the original and we'll compare them both. So I have no idea what's going to happen, but let's see. Indeed. So this is one of the brands owned by Crush. We'll be going through, I think, what, six of these over the course of the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll get to see how well we do in terms of replicating other people's food. Yep. Okay, let's begin. Well, my father's a professional chef. Uh, Mark's a really good cook as well. So this goes completely wrong. I've lost all, lost all credibility. It's okay, we've never baked before, so it's fine. I broke my gimbal. Oh, we're doing well. <laughs> so I have to manually hold this. First thing we need to do, I guess, is actually make the physical dough ourselves. Now, in order to do that, we need to have 270 grams of all-purpose flour. We've got 10 grams of yeast, about 10 grams of oil. Then I've got three grams of salt, 10 grams of sugar, and 250 milliliters of lukewarm water. So everything is pretty much ready, and I have to mix the you know, dough ingredients together so we can see how this pans out. Uh, so we put the regular bowl, as you can see. Flour goes in the bowl. Yeast. Salt. Uh, don't know if the sugar goes in. Yep, what the hell, yeah, sugar's yeah. going in. <laughs> uh, oil, I'm gonna say no to the oil at this point. Just add the water. Of course, we're in dual language. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking in Arabic. It's automatic by default. Hella, hella. I did realize that I skipped some steps in the actual recipe. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I should not have combined the flour right from the start. Um, basically, if you're going to do this, add your warm water, yeast, sugar, and that's why I let that sit and dissolve for about 15 minutes. <sighs> then you actually add all the actual other ingredients in, uh, like the salt, the olive oil, uh, as well as your flour. I basically skipped all of that, chucked everything in the bowl and mixed it all together. To be fair, be more patient, do the exact steps uh, in terms of the recipe that Justin's gonna post online. So we're gonna uh, post this recipe this. online. Thankfully, the good people at uh, Freedom Pizza and uh, Crush have actually given us ready-made dough. So we're not gonna have to eat the one that I've made. Okay, so we have our pizza dough, as we said, it's in the actual baking tin itself. So this is actually quite easy. There's no rolling to do, there's no throwing around the dough, there's no shaping it, getting it thin, uh, and all the wonderful things you see on other cooking shows. This is idiot proof as it gets. We're gonna do a pepperoni pizza, or at least I am, uh, but you could really use any toppings that you want. As Justin said as well, you sort of do the inverse in terms of what you wanna do. Because even now, I wanna sort of do the marinara sauce first. I would recommend making your own at home fresh. Uh, then, the, then the cheese and then normally you put your toppings. We're gonna do the pepperoni first. So I'm gonna go crazy here. And then cheese I'm just gonna basically hand sprinkle over. So that is mine. And you get to make yours. So it looks like a, um, a tire, a yeah. car tire. So I'm going to do one just with the cheese. Okay, well what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stick these in the oven. Can you please wear, awesome. can, you not, can you please not do that? Oh my god, he never wears the mitten. Well, you don't need to put it in. You've got to use it to take it out. No, it's, it's been there for half an hour. It's been... I'm not touching anything inside, so it's okay. On preheat. <laughs> okay, so I guess we can skip a step because we have eight minutes. So these are the actual sample pieces as an indication of what ours are supposed to look like. We've got the, the Motown pesto. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that does smell really good. So what's in this one? Obviously you've got pesto, you've got, so it looks like turkey. Very nice, that smells really good. And this one, you've got the, the big cheese. Oh, so that's the one we're replicating? So basically I've done one of these for you, unintentionally. <laughs> Thank you. And this one is the original. That's the one you did. 
And then we have the, the vegan sole, which this I'll This is the here. vegan pizza, guys. Okay. So I think that's been eight minutes. Ugh. That's more. Okay. Oh, wow. Be careful, that's super hot. Yes, that's why I have a go. Okay. Great. And it didn't stick. I wish I could take credit for that, but yeah, it was delivered like this. <laughs> okay, let's stick that over here. Oh, that's great. You see this? Oh, the cheese is nice and stringy. <laughs> Okay, so this looks really good. Look at this axe cheese, it's amazing. You can just pull it apart so gently. It has the fluffiest taste, especially while it's hot and warm as well. Um, so I do recommend trying to replicate this. Follow the actual dough instruction correctly. Uh, <laughs> and honestly, this took 30 minutes. I think with actually making the dough, I'm guessing it'll take you an hour and a half for the first time. Thank you very much. This is actually a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I will actually be finishing the rest of mine, so good luck to everybody else. Um, and I look forward to the next challenge, actually. Uh, which Naila gets to cook. Hey guys, so we just finished our first challenge with uh, Crush Brands, where we uh, replicated two of their pizzas from uh, Freedom Pizza. But overall, it turned out really well. It's yeah. something that I think uh, you guys at home should actually try, because it's not too difficult to do. And the actual end product is actually really, really tasty. Um, I'm actually linking um, the recipe below and um, you can just follow it at home. Yeah. So guys, I suggest you, you try the challenge yourselves. Uh, the guys are going to give away some uh, vouchers for Freedom yes. Peeps as well to those of you who actually try and participate, share your photos, uh, and yeah, just have some fun. Alright then, see you next week. Adios.